Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome you again. Now, let us start our lesson for today. By the starter. I uploaded here a link that you can copy it and, and search about this one. And you'll find a very useful and funny game. Okay, try to do this one. Now, let us start our lesson.
for today. We are in Unit 2 Lesson C Student Book, page 25. Our objectives for today, by the end of this lesson, the student will be able to apply the use of some, any, no, and every compound to choose the correct answer in the four given dialogues. To use some, any, no, and every compound to choose the correct answer in the text given sentences. Okay, now let's move on to our vocabulary. We have somebody, somewhere, someone, anybody, anyone, anywhere, and everyone, and everywhere. Now let us start by the first one, uh, the first objective. Let us see. Now I want to just to have a look at this picture. We have here the word somebody and someone. We consider this to be an indefinite pronoun. They function in a, sm a similar way to some. We use them in affirmative clause and a question okay and a particular answer we can use them to refer to both general and specific people or things we use them with singular verb okay now have a look at the 
this one. What do you mean by somewhere? <clears throat> yeah? That's right. In or at a place having a position that is not start, start stated or not known. Okay? And... Have here anybody and anyone. Why do we use this? Anybody and anyone are indefinite pronouns. We use anyone, anybody to refer to both an open, a limited set of people and a specific people. Okay? We use them with a singular verb. Then I have. anywhere in to or at any place that that's it okay we have Here, everyone with, with this one is indefinite pronouns use it to refer to every person so we have Everywhere, which is indefinite pronouns used to refer to every place. Okay. Now let's start talking about our second objective for today. We are going to talk about some, any, and no, and every. How can, how can we use them? Okay, let's start with some. We use some with uncountable, plural countable nouns. For example, may I have some apple, apples please? Yes. Then I use any with uncountable plural nouns. For example, is there any bread on the table? And we use now for uncountable plural nouns. For example, is there there is no money in the wallet? Okay. And how can we use every? We use every with singular countable nouns. For example, every fam every family in this town has got a car. Okay. Now I want to move on to exercise B at the same page. Read the examples again and complete it, complete the table by using some, any, and every. Yes, I want to just write this one in your book. Try to do it by your own. I will help you by the first example. For example, I can I can say some 
someone, somebody, like that. And I have any, I can say anything, for example. I want about every, yeah, that's right. I can say everybody, everyone, and so on. I want just to complete this one by your own. And let me see this one at class. Okay? Just I want to now to... Move back to your student book page 24. Just I wanted to have a look at the text. I try to underline uh, some, any, and no, and every. Yeah, I want you just to pay attention to the noun if it's singular, plural, or is it countable or uncountable. Okay, do this one by your own. Now, let's move on to your student book page 25. Okay, have it open. Now we are, it's time for practicing. I want to just to choose the correct answer here. Uh, try Now pause the video, do this one by your own, then come back to check your answers. Okay, done with this one. Let's check. We are going to choose the correct answer here. Number one, would you like more tea? Yeah. I want just now to pay attention to the noun. We are talking about tea. Uh, I will think, is it countable? Is it singular, is it uncountable, or is it plural? Yeah, what is the suitable one here? Yeah, and the correct answer is some. Would you like some more tea? That's right. Have a look at second one. Have you got brothers and sister? Have you got, yeah. What do you think about this one? That's right, have you got any? That's right. Can I have to drink? 
Can I have someone? Oh. Yeah, the timer is up. Yes, time is up now. What do you think about number three? Can I have to drink someone? Nothing or something. Yeah, what do you think about this one? What can I can I say someone? No. Can I say nothing? Yeah. No, that one is not. Does it suit to yes? What about something? That's right. Yes. Okay. You have number four already done. Let's read this one. We always stay at home. We never go anywhere. Yeah. That's right. Have a look at number five. Has seen my bag? Have has anyone seen my bag? That's right. Okay, that was everything about this lesson for today. Yeah, if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. And see you next time, inshallah.